and seven people were sent to the hospital after a Lufthansa flight ran into dangerous turbulence on its way from Austin, Texas to Frankfurt. The airline says the trouble began over Tennessee and the flight was safely diverted to Dulles International Airport outside Washington. Former National Transportation Safety Board Chair Robert Sumwalt joins me now. Thank you for so much for joining us. We've had five of these close calls involving commercial aircraft from Boston to Honolulu. Is this unusual or are we all just paying a lot more attention to it? Well, John, good evening. I think it's a little bit of both. Uh, I've, uh, there are a lot of events that are being publicized these days. Uh, each of them brings concern, and uh, I'm glad that the FAA has, uh, has, uh, ha is having a call for action here in the coming days to try and get their fingers around what's going on and keep it from happening. And what will they do in terms of getting their hands around this um, when they're investigating these close calls, when the NTSB is looking at it or the FAA is looking at it? What are they trying to get their hands around? Yeah, and you raise a good point, John. There's the FAA that's doing their job, and there's the NTSB that's doing their job. So the call to action is what the NTS or what the FAA will be doing, and they're really going to get industry leaders uh, around the table to try and figure out where are the pain points and how can we improve uh, safety. We've had a, a great safety record over the last couple of decades here in the United States. We we have to keep that record, and there's work that needs to be done. If you were at the table asking questions, what are you looking for? I, I mean, we should let everybody know you were a pilot for quite some time. What are you, what, what does your spider sense tell you about where the questions need to be asked? Well, that's a great question. And, uh, and I think I will have the opportunity to ask some of those questions at the FAA's uh, uh, round table coming up here in a few weeks. Um, you know, is, is, has our system gotten complacent? Uh, we've had such a good uh, safety record over the last few decades. Uh, have people just gotten complacent? Are there distractions in the industry? Are there too many new pilots that are being introduced uh, into the system? We know we've had a, a pilot shortage, so airlines are hiring as many pilots as they can get. Um, so I think there are a number of questions that need to be asked and answered. Complacency, is that at the control tower end or the possibly the pilot end? And I'm really going to get out of my lane here. Does that have anything to do with the fact that it's more, I mean, flying is more automated and therefore that leads to complacency? Well, airplanes have been very automated for the last 30 years, and uh, I haven't been in the cockpit in about 18 years, but the airplanes I flew then were, were very sophisticated. So I don't think it's the introduction of new, highly automated airplanes, um, but whatever it is, I do have the sense that we that we need to be doing something. Uh, you asked early on, is this uh, are these happening more often, or are we just hearing more about it? Uh, certainly having five such events uh, since the first of the year, that's very troubling, and, uh, and I'm, I applaud the FAA for trying to get their hands around it. And I did see that the NTSB will be holding a, a roundtable later this month on, uh, on runway safety. So these are areas that really need to be looked at. I want to ask you about the uh, train derailment in Ohio in a second, but one more air, airplane-related question. There is a, a Lufthansa flight that had to land at Dulles after severe turbulence in the air. Um, is, is that happening more? Um, and as a, a, a pilot, um, tell us about that kind of severe turbulence. Uh, it sounds scary, but the plane landed, and while some people were injured, the plane landed. Yeah, it's my understanding that the that it was actually passengers that were injured, uh, in spite of the fact that the flight attendants were doing their meal service. Uh, I think that's really important for people. The best way that a passenger can keep from getting hurt in turbulence is wearing the seatbelt, even if the seatbelt sign is not on. Uh, it, you know, that seatbelt is there for a reason, so uh, so keep it on. So, um, you know, I, fortunately, nobody was severely injured in this turbulence event. It looked like they were going around some weather, weather that, uh, that you've experienced in the Northeast. So um, I think that's going to be a contributing factor to this, this latest turbulence-related event. Current NTSB chairwoman uh, Jennifer uh, Hammondy said that the train derailment in, uh, in Ohio, East Palestine, Ohio, was 100 percent preventable. Uh, what does that mean to you uh, w with respect to what you know about this derailment? 
Yeah, you know, I think almost every accident out there these days is preventable. It's just where in the system could it be prevented? It looks like this one was a uh, was a mechanical failure, an overheated uh, wheel bearing. Uh, there are systems in place that should be detecting uh, hot wheel bearings. I understand they get they got various levels of alarms uh, on that particular hot wheel. And uh, by the time the engineer could bring the train to a stop, it, it had already derailed. So uh, I think the NTSB is going to do a very thorough investigation with that. And I think that this event, as tragic as it is, I believe it's going to be a watershed event to change fundamentally uh, the way that uh, hazardous materials are, uh, are shipped via rails. Do you mean something specific there, or do you just mean because it's gotten so much attention, uh, bright minds are, are trying to keep it from happening again? Yeah, I think it's more of the latter of those. I mean, but I've seen plane crashes, for example. There was one particular plane crash back in 2009 that was so egregious that it changed the way that airlines hired uh, pilots, selected pilots, so uh, kept them current. And uh, it, was a, it was a sentinel event, a uh, seminal event for aviation safety. And, and I'm hoping that, uh, that we can make good from this very tragic event, a uh, very bad event in, uh, in Ohio. I'm hoping that there's a lot, that there appears to be a lot of political pressure surrounding this thing. And so I hope that we can make good on it and actually change the way that, uh, that, that, that hazardous materials are shipped and that we can ensure the safety of those shipments. Former National Transportation Safety Board Chair Robert Sumwalt, thank you so much for being with us. John, it's a pleasure. Thank you so much.